Pelicans. For the Philadelphia 76ers, it's been a bumpy road as of late. Out of sorts in four of the last five games. But they are looking to rectify that here tonight. Pelicans, Sixers, coming up next, right after this. It's time for the NBA, live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans, we've got Brandon Ingram. Terry Rozier is out there with Joe Harris. Then there's Davis Berton. And it's Hunter in at the center, locking down the middle. And for the 76ers, Allen Iverson out there with free. Then there's Irving. And it's Malone. And it's Smith in at the four slot. So the Pelicans win the tip. As a player, what's your main focus in these early stages of the season, Clark? You know, Kevin, I think the biggest thing is just building the chemistry, getting a level of comfort with one another, learning tendencies and preferences. Chemistry is the key at this time of the season. And so the New Orleans Pelicans get the first points of the ball game. It's stolen by Berton. Ogier, the pass to Bertans. New Orleans moving it around. Let's the three fly. And again, New Orleans with the triple. You know, Ingram is somebody you have to watch closely on the perimeter because he's improved his outside shot so much since coming into the league. Harris kicks to Rozier. For a three, Hunter. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Three. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot-around with all the threes they're allowed. Iverson against Harris. No good again that time. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Fires, high post. Good as the jump shot falls. Oh, sinking these mid-range Jays. Allen Iverson. Rozier with the ball. Iverson picks him up. And here's Harris from the arc. And again, New Orleans with the triple. Three Red points. hot so far. Four for four. Cooking with gas. Couldn't draw it up any better. Clark, the Sixers proposing to build a new arena by 2031 in the Fashion District area of City Center in Philadelphia. And you know, Kevin, currently all the city's major sports teams play in the sports complex here in South Philly. The Sixers are hoping for their own building in the center of things. Clark, I'm not sure there's been another era in the NBA with so many fantastic passers at every position. Yeah, you know, I think it's a function of what we saw going back into the 80s with Bird and Magic and how they shared the ball and were such great passers. Then you had another group of outstanding playmakers at the point guard spot and on the wings. Um, so now centers at this particular stage in the game's evolution are playmakers, excellent passers, and are players that teams can run their offense through. So, I think it's just been kind of a natural evolution because of the skill level of all players when it comes to passing. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. And I've really liked how they've moved the ball tonight. Because of this selfless approach, they are piling up the assists. Well, I like the trajectory of Rozier's game. I mean, he's added responsibility, and his production has increased, too. And we get a break in the action. Let's check out the leaders and steals. You take a look at Hunter. Posing teams always need to know where he is on the court. And he's been a rock for them defensively. Just so many steals for him this year. And, and so many of them have been in key moments for his team. Iverson against Harris. And it's Iverson missing. You know, currently they're just one of five from the field. That's not going to get it done. For three, Hunter. His second Bill. shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. Out of their last five makes, how about all five from long range? Well, the defense just hasn't pressed up to deny any of those looks, guys. I mean, they're hanging back and getting picked apart. And it's the Pelicans' ball. They're on a 20-3 to three run right now. Oh! Oh! Mm. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Here's Bertinus. Finish off the break. And you can't help but pick their defense 
apart. They're completely in disarray. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point defensively, you have to take something away. Harris passes to Rozier. And the rejection by Smith. He always a talented defender. Smith staying active and isn't scared to go after the tough blocks. Good awareness that time to put the shot right back up before the defense could react. Rozier kicks to Harris. Two minutes. And the three off target. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Smith, no good. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. Hunter, no good. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. And Iverson throws it down. World be free, a talented combo guard, known for his scoring. But I like seeing him find open teammates, too. Now, here's Rogier. He averages a bit over six points a game. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Free against Rogier. Shock up two there. And how about the terrific use of the crossover there to just throw the defender off balance? Harris outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to uh, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. And here is Iverson after Brandon Ingram getting his shot to go from deep. And he drives in. Smith trying to break loose. Free can't get it to go. Guys, this hasn't been his quarter. I mean, to me, he just doesn't look completely comfortable or confident. Hunter, no good. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. You know, you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. He said, world be free. Ingram outside. And it is good. Wow. The score. Ringing the You're bell. That's the way to close a quarter. 11. Talk about lifting up a team and energizing 30. them at the end of a quarter. A three at the buzzer. That'll do it. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. We've got more in store for you right after this. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And looking at what we've seen, Pelicans pretty much in control here. Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. So the Pelican five right now. Wiseman's out there with Sharp. Then there's Terry Rozier. Then it's Daniels, and it's Hunter in at the five. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. We'll see if that's the answer. Such a wide open look. And Rosen's got himself on the board with three there. He is so silky smooth. DeRozan, a stone-faced assassin. And you think of height as an advantage in basketball, but great, the versatility at such a premium. Can you be too tall in today's NBA? It's a valid question. The, the two biggest concerns for seven-footers are mobility and durability. To move the way they need to puts a lot of strain on those lower extremities. And there's a whistle. That goes on Terry Rozier. That's his first foul. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Outside DeRozan. To the wing on the left. Down to five on the shot clock. And it goes down two points. DeRozan so in tune with his teammates. Knew exactly where to find that open man. 
Rozier the pass to Daniels. Here's Sharp. He hits the back Sharp. iron and sinks the shot. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. And so it looks like the 76ers will retain possession here. And Philadelphia calls time here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Make the noise once again. With a break in the action, let's go to the 2K leaderboard for a look at this season's stingiest defensive teams. Pelicans, number one. And anybody who's a fan of defense has got to love this team. I mean, no one loves to see their name on top of that leaderboard as much as this coaching staff. They get it again. MB gets deflected. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers is able to retain possession here. Loose, pass to free, lock at six. Here's to Rosen. Just couldn't take the lid off. They had their chances, but came up empty. Rozier with the ball. Now guarded by DeRozan. Scooped up. Sharp, the pass to Hunter. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. And hard not to love a young guy like Tyrese Maxey, who has such a great attitude. Boy, I love the way he plays, Greg. He's effervescent in his approach. Plays with great speed and pace and fearlessness. He's got a readiness to him and a workmanlike approach that bodes well for him the rest of his career. I think he's a potential all-star, and he delivers in just about any situation he's put in. Big fella getting a little angry, and being a force at the defensive end. And Bullseye with that assist. Nice delivery there in traffic. Rozier finds Hunter. And it's Hunter with the jam. And he has his fingerprints all over this first half. He is just shooting it so efficiently. Here's Maxi, and the 76ers tack on two more. Really not part of Maxi's bag, but he was feeling it that time. Rozier up top, three defending, and it's sharp missing. Yeah, but the hand in the face, it's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Here's free, and the layup's good off the glass. He's got six points in the quarter. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. And load the plate. Yeah, exactly. It sure is. Plenty of second opportunities. Eight of their last ten points from the paint. But the defense still continues to back away and not show any aggressive. Well, you throw it his way and DeRozan is going to capitalize. When he takes off, he's looking to throw it down with no hesitation. Daniel. From the top of the key, he buries it. Daniels has got five shots. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. Taxi passes to DeRozan. Here's Malone. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. the latest now from our sideline reporter David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. As ever, Joel Embiid has the pressure on him to be the franchise player. He said it's not an easy job. If it was easy, everybody would do it. When you're actually the best offensive player and the best defensive player, you got to make plays. You can't be perfect. All I can do is try to do my best every game. Kevin? Well said. His best DA is pretty great, isn't it? Thank you so much for the report. Here's Rogier after Moses Malone's score. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Pelicans leading by 21. Rogier kicks to Hunter. 
That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Assisted. Rozier's got nine assists now tonight. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a free pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, hey, they've been clearly the better team. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Pelicans ahead, just dominating this one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much here with Nick Nurse. Coach, the efficiency wasn't there in the first half. What adjustments do you need to make? I thought we got pretty good shots, you know, and if we're not going to score, it makes getting our defense set up difficult. So, we got to keep shooting them. Hopefully, start making some of them. Uh, you can't score until you shoot, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Things were going New Orleans' way from the beginning. They went to work early at both ends of the floor, going on a 9-0 run to jump out in front. They delivered a real beatdown in the first quarter, ending with a whopping lead. The second quarter didn't advance their lead, but they still dominated the half overall, ending it way, way out in front. Kenny, your thoughts, how the Pelicans are playing. There was no shortage of dimes on this team, that's for sure. Numerous guys displayed good court vision, moved the ball, let the great shot. They're in full control of this game. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Philadelphia? Definitely they need to get out on the three-point shooters and contest. The deep ball is killing them. This is what happens when another team identifies your weakness and just keeps hammering on it. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You know, baddest one has been exceptional here, guys. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. Yeah, you know what? I think he's doing exactly what he has to do. Using his body, shaking off contact, and then finishing at the rim. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. We've got Maxi. Smith out there with Irving, and it's DeRozan, and it's Iverson in at the two spot. That's Nick Nurse's five as we get into the second half. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketballs had a little sandpaper element to it gritty and rough but that's how you win games and the 76ers making a change here Malone's checked in now here's DeRozan and the 76ers tack on two more and they've worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks from mid-range well, it's interesting. The defense continues to back off, expecting them to attack the rack. But they just continue to pull up and knock down those mid-range jumpers. Here's DeRozan. Nine points in the game so far. And well, DeRozan really has a gift for scoring. Buckets just seem to find him. Exum passes to Robinson. And stolen by Iverson. Throws it up high. And it's Smith finishing it off. And Smith gets off the floor as quick as anybody, especially when he's got a lob on the way. Exum kicks to Shamit. Here's Hunter. Oh, yes, the turnaround. Hunter's got 22 points. Love the assist. I mean, he knew exactly where that bounce pass had to be to create that opportunity. Smith outside. A three-pointer, no good. And, you know, that's their first miss after knocking down four in a row to start the half. And it's Exum in the corner. Hands it from downtown. Exum's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. That's a nice play, getting the separation he needs for a clean look. And you look at him, he's given up an awful lot of size in that matchup, so he needs to have the ability to create separation. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, 
strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And Robinson that time on the assist from Ingram. Assist from Ingram's got three assists tonight. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Yeah, you said the key word there, balanced. I mean, their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense. Passes it to Shamit. And another three for New Orleans. Fourth and three. the efficiency is there, but the aggressiveness is really lacking. So far, it hasn't hurt them, though. Shot from the wing. He gets it in there. Smith's got his third basket of the night right there. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Exum with it, picked up by Malone. And the rejection by Smith. Ingram against Irving. Rejected by Ingram. You know, that's where Brandon Ingram's huge wingspan comes into play at the defensive end of the floor. Exum dishes to Hunter. Shoots over Malone. Another shot, Robinson. No luck, they battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. Got a piece of it, stolen by Exum. And now the Pelicans on the break. Robinson, Mitchell that's good. Robinson. Robinson's got his second bucket of the night. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game, how it's been going for New Orleans. I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end, tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. And they've also shown great effort defensively tonight. Mitchell they Robinson. closed out on shooters that and really got their hands up on multiple First shots. Baiting defenders in the fouls. AI, so good at drawing fouls and getting to the strike. 76ers have converted one of two free throws so far today. And, and when you got a team percentage of about 81%, uh, you're going to be one of the elites in this league. Guys, their free throw shooting has slipped a bit since last year, but not really to the point where they should be overly concerned about it. Embiid, he's checked in for the 76ers. New Orleans back. And here's the upcoming schedule for New Orleans. That's on Monday, they'll tip off a homestand first starting with back. the Portland Trail Blazers. Then on Wednesday, the they'll be matching up with Al Horford and the Dallas Mavericks. And just looking ahead to what's on tap, there are a lot of winnable games for them, but you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. Both free throws, good for Irving. And guys, it's crazy. He, he really was a late bloomer. You know, Irving didn't have the big time amateur career you hear about with some stars, but boy, he's more than made up for. It. To the middle, here's Iverson, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Dante Exum. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. At the line for Numbers this year at the line below 70, so when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as he'd like. And somehow it's become a real struggle at the free throw line. He's lost his way there. I mean, he's not having anywhere near the same success he had there last season. Here's Irving. Not going to go that time. Some solid defense from Ingram. Pass to Exum, and it goes on a bounce. That one is off Smith. Pelicans ball. Right now, let's check out the teams with the best free throw percentage. Pelicans, number one. You can't be careless when you play them. I mean, no wasted opportunities at the line. It's a team effort, and they're getting it done. Shamit bangs home the trifecta. Shamit's got six here in this quarter. Guess the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Here's Iverson. Got a hand on it. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Ingram. And he gets it to go. Brandon hitting off Ingram. the back of the rim. Ingram's got 11. Well, Ingram has been an all-star because he doesn't have to dominate the ball to score. He's a sharp shooter who's very efficient in his offensive game. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out That's gunning. The third they have not the stopped. Score. And so it's New Orleans with a 21-point lead to end the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout.
back right after this. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. So for New Orleans right now, Ingram is out there with Robinson. Then there's Landry Shannon, then it's Exum, and it's Hunter in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, that's for sure. Yes, indeed. Let's just call it ladder climber. Dawkins checked in from Malone. Your sixer, Darrell, shots at thunder, Dawkins. Here's Iverson, it's deflected. And now the Pelicans on the break. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. And a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. And Clark, we know Commissioner Silver has acknowledged the game has changed in terms of its impact on players' bodies. And so adjusting the regular season's length is not out of the question. Well, you and I have talked about it for years. I've talked about it with other fellow announcers. It would be wonderful to see the season reduced by about 15, 20% in terms of regular season games. I think it would enhance the product immensely. And the fact that Commissioner Silver is letting us know it's not off the table, maybe we'll see it reduced in the not too distant future. That free throw missing. How about Joel Embiid? A, a high risk, high reward pick turns into a superstar. Yeah, that's well said, Greg. I mean, he sat out two years before even seeing the NBA court. Sustained a foot injury before being drafted. Persevered through that. And is now one of the most dominant big men and players in the game. Maxie's checked in for Iverson. Checking in at about 200 pounds. Maxie is much stronger. Then he appears. At the line for Philadelphia. He throw good, Maxi. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. And Philadelphia making a change here. Whitmore has checked in. Here's Hunter. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound and smothered him on that mid-range attempt. As a defender, he's going to just be a bothersome, worrisome guy, making you miserable all night. A hand in your face on every jump. Just five to shoot. Uses both hands to slam it down. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? Well, that might be fair, but I wouldn't want to take away from what he did in that last game. I mean, let's just say it's a pretty nice run he's on no matter how you decide to frame it up. And the 76ers tack on two more. They just can't defend free tonight. It has that soft, high-arcing jumper to pummel you from the outside as well as that 44-inch vertical Hunter. to throw it down Assisted if you get too close. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far, and when they've time needed out, a basket, they've the turned system. to him. Timeout called the 76ers. And these days, you know, Clark, the trade for a star player takes a stockpile of draft picks, doesn't it? Well, that seems to be the one way you can assure yourself of getting a proven star somewhere in the area of his prime. You know, and it doesn't always work out for both parties. Teams typically, in that case, would have to mortgage a bit of their future to get a player of that caliber. So it is um, tilted towards more risk than reward in most of those scenarios. Okay, outstanding awareness that time from Irving. A dime to the open man for the bucket. Shamit the pass to Ingram. Over Irving. And Dawkins pulls it down. The 76ers trail by 20. Irving drives. Oh! Oh! <laughs> 
folks, sit back and enjoy the show. The doctor is an amazing in-game dunker. Perry's the long-range jumper. Three and that's down 27 points for baddest one. Three-pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. You know, the only way that's going to turn around defensively is by stopping the outside shot. It's not getting into a shootout. They're not going to out-shoot out this team. And all of a sudden, it's finally coming together for them. The deficit's still large, but now not insurmountable. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. Two minutes remaining in the game. The kick out to Irvin. And the pass to Smith. No one near Maxi as he lets it fly. And the 76ers tack on two more. Boy, the defense was looking for something different there. Maxi kept it himself off the pick that time. And that one's good, Shannon. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll see how it pans out. You know what? Teams can get a little three happy down the stretch sometimes. Letting it fly. Here's Dawkins, and Dawkins shines it in. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for New Orleans. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And it'll advance their win total up to 12 on the season. And I love what they accomplished here tonight. Made the plays they had to, and that's why they'll go up 1-0 in their season series against Philadelphia. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for baddest one he did all the dirty work that they needed clearing out space underneath and securing rebounds moses malone he's checked in for the 76ers iverson comes in for maxi pass to smith there's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter passes it to malone Now, here's Shamit, guarded closely, takes a three, and attacks him. One time on the assist from Robinson. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exits. Here's Shamit. Lays it up off the glass. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Smith for three. And they'll get another chance. So we see New Orleans taking the W here. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.
It could be so simple. 